So welcome back uh, to the channel. The uh, features written code where you get uh, videos using Attic Framework, Capacitor, Reactive UJS. Um, earlier in the week, uh, I dropped a video and a blog post here about um, creating a bottom drawer in React.js using Ionic Framework uh, components. What we're going to do now is we're going to do this implementation, but we're going to do it with Vue.js for all the people out there waiting for the Vue.js release of Ionic. Um, this seems pretty straightforward. Um, so let's get started. To make our life simple, what I've already done here is I've, I'm using one of my favorite tools. Um, code sandbox and I've already set this up to support Ionic. And so to do that, if you look over here, you can see we have Ionic core, we have Ionic view, we have the icons, they're required by default. Um, I have view and view routers required by default because Ionic view has the router for Ionic embedded inside of it. Um, we're not going to use hello world, we're going to keep this real simple and just do everything inside of app view. To get everything working with Ionic, you see I have the import here in main.js. I say view use Ionic. Um, the other important thing to do is you need to make sure that you uh, properly import the styles. And then as you can see over here, once you do that, um, you're pretty much up and running. You have your basic view app, and then you drop the components in. They're a little bit different here than in React, which here you're using, you're not using the camel case. So just to put a button in, I'll show you, you can just say, I um, and you're up and running. All right. Um, like I said, this should be pretty short. We're just going to bring over the code from the React version of the uh, project and show how it works here. So the basic thing you want to do is we are using the uh, gesture API from Ionic. Um, we are going to kind of follow, follow along with the uh, JavaScript approach. So you need to make sure that we, uh, now that we have Ionic Core, the first thing we need to do is import the create gesture function. So let's go up here and let's just get started with this code. So, uh, let's Let's import uh, create, create gesture. Um, we need to create connect the gesture to our um, div that we're going to use as our drawer. Um, and the way you do that is you the same way you have refs in React, you have refs in View. So we're going to start by so we have our we have our content. Um, first thing we want to do is make sure you can't scroll this thing. So we're going to put the, uh, the scroll is false, and then we're going to create a bottom drawer class. So this will be our bottom drawer. And this is going to be what we're going to use to slide up and down. Let's, um, let's put our class in. So if we get on to the bottom here, we have our bottom drawer class. A lot of this stuff, like I said, it's, it's just coming straight across from how it's being implemented in React. And something like the style is pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to set a specific background color here, so it'll be easier to see. Um, we're positioning it absolute at the bottom, put a little padding on the side with the left and right margin. Our, the height of our um, screen is going to be about 400 pixels, and we're going to position it. Uh, minus 370 from the bottom, so I should leave about 30 pixels from the top, which is where you'll see um, the drawer sticking out. So now we have our drawer in. Um, well, we're still doing some errors because of our great gesture, but we'll get going on that in a minute. So what you see right now is we have our content, and our drawer is going to be sitting at the bottom of our content. We want a little handle or something for a person to grab onto when they are trying to slide the um, bar, 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 slide, trying to slide the drawer up. So we're going to create a little button that uh, we will place at the top. So um, as you can see here, we have our button. 
we move this over. Actually, we can. We don't need this side at all. Move this guy. Move this guy over here. That guy's all wrong. Um. So we should have. We're gonna get a little button that starts to appear on the bottom. So there we there we have our button. This is what we're gonna click to drop to drag to move this thing up, and also click to open and close. Okay. So now we have everything in place. Now let's make this guy move. All right, we're going to start with the create gesture, and we can do the create gesture here inside of the mounted. Um, what, what's amazing about this and what I like about uh, the Bionic Works is, like, I'm literally going to take the code. So let's look at the blog post. This is a React blog post. Um, we're literally going to take all the code that we have here on the bottom. Let me get to all the gesture enabling code here, where we start with the um, the create gesture, we're going to be able to just take and move all this straight over. So uh, we're going to copy all this stuff over, and we're just going to use the exact same function inside of our Vue.js code. All right. So um, let's get going. Copy all this. Copy, copy, copy. All right. Okay. So now the next part is to get the ref. So here we have a drawer ref in view. They have this um, property that holds all of them. And so just to keep this simple, so we don't have to change this too much, we will um, say, let's see. Cool. This dot refs. Let me make this. That will be name this guy. I draw it. Okay, so that will get us the ref that we're looking for. Um, and now that we have the ref that we're looking for, I think that. All right, so rush the sign, unmounted, we connect. Let's see if we get any action yet. Yep, see, there we go. We have our drawer sliding up and down, which is what we were looking for. Um, once you guys notice, this is all the exact same code that was used for React. Check out the blog post to see how it works. But they, um, just quickly to go over the basic premise is if you start to drag more than 340 pixels up, we stop because I don't want you dragging this menu all to the top of the screen. Um, when we're closing downward, if you drag more than 20 pixels downward, we just assume you want to close. Oh, that's so, that's that. so, mm -hmm. See how that just is taking you down more than 20 pixels. All right, you want to close it. Um, so that's on the move. So I've tried to put some comments in here for you guys to make clear. And then what we're doing is at the end of a transition, if you've moved more than uh, 30 pixels uh, downward, I mean more than 30 pixels up, so if you're at the bottom and you're starting to scroll up, once you get about 30 pixels, we assume you want to open. So that is when we will just start the transformation and move it open. All right, let's, let's get the button toggle working now. Um, the other thing you notice is I'm keeping track of the open and close state using the data set. Um, this is at specific attributes you can store into on a specific HTML element. It is covered in the blog post um, if you want more detail. Um, all we're really doing is focusing on the Vue.js specific things here. And so the last Vue.js specific thing we need here is, as you can see on that button, on a click event, we want to toggle the drawer. And I say toggle because we are keeping track of the state using this data set open property. So um, once again, uh, this toggle code, um, separate from the way that we need to add the method here, so what do we call this method? We call it toggle drawer. Let's copy this. Let's go into my methods, toggle drawer function. And as I said before, since we're utilizing the exact same code from the React uh, example, we 
can go back to, once again, I'm back here on my blog post. We are going to find my, here's my toggle. Here's my toggle, my toggle drawer. We're just going to take all this code because everything is the exact same other than how we get the ref. So I'm going to copy all this code. Let's get this back out of the way. Go into our toggle drawer function. This we need to change. We know that this is how we get the ref. Copy the ref. Uh, let's save this guy. And let's see what we get. I'm going to click my toggles open, working, open or close on a toggle. Okay, click button. I drag to close is working, so I can drag to close. I can toggle open, toggle closed, drag to open, and we're all done. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, once again, like I said, the amazing thing about this and using Ionic Framework is this is the new Gesture API. You can see it supports plain JavaScript, Angular, and React. So once I had the basic functionality working in my React application, let's move it over and make it work for Vue. So hopefully you liked this video. Um, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It's very important that you subscribe. Um, subscriber count is critical to the algorithm and making sure that my content is continued. Uh, please leave a comment if there's anything else interesting you'd like to see, either on using Ionic Framework with React or Vue.js. Thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.